James Cornell, British Tour and Car Racer, and here's my lap of the Snesterton 300 circuit. We start on the right, leading over to the left here, and it's a big braking zone this with a downshift, and we need to focus on the second apex. Getting too close to the first will slow you down coming out. You can use the curb if you like, you want to be hard on the power now, using as much track as you can. Heading up to the hairpin, we need to be ready for another big braking zone, down a few gears, it's a late turn in, and you want to get right next to a late apex here. You can use the curb if you like, but make sure to use all the track on the left-hand side. You can even use the grass creep on the left-hand side if no one's watching. For this left-hander, we're going to go in hard but brake a bit to get the weight over the front of the car. It helps it turn. We need to hug the inside curb for longer than normal and then hard on the power. If you release it too early, you'll run out of space very quickly and trip the track limits monitor. For the Agostini hairpin, it's another big braking zone with a few downshifts. We're having a late turn in as you can see here, and a late apex. Your key is getting on the throttle early so that you get a really good run out the corner. As we head up to Hamilton, we'll again want to brake a little bit. Normally no down change needed, but we're gonna use the inside curb and then as much of the track on the right hand side as we can. Again, there's a track near this camera. Down the gears for oggies. You wanna carry good speed in using the curb, but then let the car run out all the way to the left hand side. It's quite popular to run out of track here actually. This corner may or may not need a brake, depends on the car, but you need to get a good run through. Use the kerb on the right and on the left. You'll, your exit on this corner determines how fast, of course, you go down this straight. If you can pick up a toe, that's an added bonus. It is a long straight, so just go diagonally from left to right. Try not to weave too much, because you will just slow yourself down ahead of this big braking zone. Down one or two gears at the first part, roll the car through the apex, keeping left, down your final gears, and as soon as you turned in, jump on the power, use the kerb on the right and the left hand side. As we come into the bomb hole, we don't need to brake, but a quick lift will help the car to turn, and then at the compression, you want to be full throttle to get the best run possible. Carry as much speed as you can into Corum. Once you're in here though, the key is balance and just maintaining your speed. You need to hold the car to the right now, start slowing it down gently to begin with, harder now, down your gears, get it right into the apex and an early throttle for this long slog uphill, which is very, very important to lap time. We keep to the right hand side and don't move over to the left until we get to the start line. But that's a lap of the Sneston 300 circuit.